Hey guys, Dr. Gooden here on my way to an interval session at the track. Now today's session is going to be more of a stamina session. So doing uh, intervals at about 5K to 10K race pace. At the end, I'll do some 200s at mile pace. And really my goal here is to continue working uh, closer and closer to mile specific training, which is going to involve a lot of training at my VO2 max. So the VO2 max is not actually a measure of how fast you are at a given distance or a given pace. Really, it's a measure of how much oxygen your body can utilize. It, let's say that I had a VO2 max of 50. Well, I could look that up on the VO2 max tables and it would give me an expected time that I would be able to run if I was training for specific events. Let's say the mile or the 10K or the marathon. The reason why this is so important for coaches and for me as I'm coaching myself to run this sub five minute mile uh, is that it lets me hone in on the correct training paces, whether that's threshold running or VO2 max intervals or speed training. It gives me a nice range to train at and a goal. So that's why a couple weeks ago I set out to measure my VO2 max. So I'm gonna crush this workout and then get back to you guys with the results. But in the meantime, let me show you how it all went down. Okay guys, today's the big day. So the specific protocol that we are doing today is a VO2 max ramp protocol that takes me to failure in about eight to 12 minutes. That 10 minute mark, mark is really the sweet spot for eliciting a, a good VO2 peak or VO2 max, which you can kind of use those terms interchangeably. All right, my friend Sean and I, who is an Ironman, he's a Ironman and mountain biker. He's gonna get his VO2 max tested today as well. Um, a, because he's legit like that and has his master's in kinesiology, but B, because his wife is the one running the thing, Dr. Lynch, Dr. Heidi Lynch. So uh, we're gonna uh, crash her lab session full of students who will cheer us on and we will be the guinea pigs today doing this for science. So Sean, what is your, what's your biggest fear about doing this VO2 max? Uh, I think my biggest fear is feeling wimpy if I give up too early. <laughs> Yeah, me too. And I don't want to puke in front of that students. I'm not going to be mentally tough enough to push myself to my limit. <laughs> awesome. Let's see what we can do. Nice. So just every minute, you're going to notice that great go up. All right, so you can see absolute VO2 and then relative VO2, relative to body weight. Um, always good to see those numbers just like gradually increasing, as well as things like heart rate. And then we'll also be checking in with him and getting his RPP rating of perceived exertion and just kind of making sure that as the test gets harder, we also see that in kind of his perception and physiology. Here we go. How's this feel? Good, good. All part nice. Just also just kind of like physiologically with him that we're, hey, yeah, heart rate's going up, oxygen and uh, consumption's increasing as well. I especially like looking at VO2 as well as ventilation. And so right now, it's pretty well overlaid. Um, so, you know, he's at a, a low and enough exertion level that his body is matching itself, right? Like the supply and demand are in the shack. So as we increase this, there's gonna be a point where that ventilation is gonna kick off of the oxygen consumption. And so that's just like, it's always fun to see for me uh, that for right now at the lower intensities that, you know, he's well trained, he can handle this. So his ventilation that is taking in oxygen is adequate enough to supply the body with the demands that it has. But there's gonna be a point where He's not gonna be cruising and happy and content. And, um, and basically, the supply is not gonna be able to match the demand. Um, and it's always fun to see that. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Nice work, nice work, nice work, nice work, nice work. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Here we go. Good work, good work, good work. Oh, there it is. Nice.
Okay. Here is your warm up. And let me know if this is, I can manually control this too if you want, like, uh, no, can you take it down a little bit too? Okay. And just see, uh, see what, what he's talking about. How you doing? So get it? Just like 10 to 15 seconds before. So let's capture the warm up here, okay? Okay. Alright, we're about to go into that warm up. How's this uh, feeling? Good. Nine. Alright, so you're about to start your stage, your first initial test stage, in about five seconds. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, good job. Nice job. Where you sitting right now? Nice, nice. Okay. Freeze. Nice. 13. Good job. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking strong. Here we go. Woo! All right, Mark. Nice job, Dr. Good. Nice work. Nice work. Woo! Keep it up. Now, last and You guys know how to do this fight is very, very well Good job, good job. Um, and you can see basically you must have percent grade roughly like how many minutes into the test he is. 14. Nice. Keep crushing it. Keep crushing it. Nice job, Dr. Gooden. And you can also see kind of where the VO2 is tracking, right? Like he's in a ballpark, but it's kind of like undulating, right? And it just the body's continually kind of making subtle changes to kind of match the demand. Nice right? job. His legs are screaming for oxygen, screaming Looking for blood. Strong. And so he's got to match that demand. The supply has to meet demand. Everything's looking really, really good. Nice job. This is awesome. 15. Here we go, here we go. Moving up to that next stage. Nice, 17. Going strong, going strong, going nice strong. Nice job. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. Nice job, nice job. Here comes another increase. All right, 18. Nice job, you got it. And that RPE of 18 where he's at, I don't need to bother him trying to get another one. So I usually, we're good. We're cruising now. Here we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Let's go. Finish out this stage. Finish out this stage. You got 20 seconds left of this stage. Let's finish this out. Here we go. Here we go. Keep pushing. Keep pumping. Moving up. Drill a hole in that wall. Here we go. Keep pushing. Drill a hole in that wall. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep hitting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that volume on the top right, that leader is here we go, here we go, here we go. Push, 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 push. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here comes another stage in three, two, one. Bump it up, here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. Nice work, nice work, nice work. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. There we go, there we go, there we go. Keep digging, keep digging. Here comes that next stage. Let's hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Let's go, drill that wall. Here we go. Go, go, go. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. There we go, there we go. Nice work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Nice. Focus and kick. Let's kick, 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 kick. Here we go, here we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. There we go, there we go. Keep going strong, keep going strong.
don't need oxygen. <laughs> the last, I mean, couple of stages, it was like real nice and tight, just yeah. bouncing, bouncing around in there. I kept feeling like I was waiting for a kick. Like yeah. Oh yeah. But, but since the speed's controlled. Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. 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 I see what you mean. That's a little tough. This is good though. I mean, you went a lot further, like. Than we would, than we expected and kind of planned for, which which happens. Yeah. But it's definitely something. To okay, it's a few days later, and I'm ready to go over the results of that VO2 max test with you. So I have them right here, fresh off the printer from the metabolic cart. Let's take a look at the numbers. Now I've already highlighted some important numbers as points of interest for us to go through this together. The first is that my body mass was 181. That's important because we're going to be focusing on this relative measure of VO2 max relative to your body mass. So the units are milliliters of oxygen per kilogram per minute. Now the actual test started at the five minute mark. I, did, I had five minutes of warm up, just sort of ramping up into it. And you'll see that the treadmill speed was 6.5 miles per hour. And if we take a look at the graph, you'll see right here, this dotted line is the treadmill speed. So I warmed up in this segment from here to here, and then we increased the treadmill speed up to 6.5 miles per hour. The grade was still down at zero. So the primary increase in intensity was due to the grade of the treadmill. And the reason we increased the grade instead of the speed was A, because the treadmill doesn't actually go fast enough to really top out and hit um, um, the maximum speed of some athletes VO2 max. Now, for me, I, I probably would have hit my max speed. Um, but the second reason is because it's a lot safer. You're moving more slowly as you're going uphill because it requires more effort as you fight against gravity. And so if you actually fail, if you run to literal failure and you fall on the ground, you won't be moving quite as fast and that treadmill won't be moving quite as fast either. So that's when the actual test started. You can see that as we went, they took my rating of perceived exertion. It was a 10 out of 20, 11 out of 20, 12, 13, and the grade continued to increase all the way up to, let's look at 15 rate, uh, rating of perceived exertion out of 20. And that was at a grade of, let's see, 8.4%. So we're looking right around in this range and my VO2 max or my VO2 peak up to this point was uh, right around 50, like 49 to 50. And honestly, if I had even just hit that as my max for the day, I would have been happy, but I really, I had more in the tank. I could feel it. I was feeling pretty good. I wasn't up to that 19 and 20 out of 20 on the RPE scale yet. So I kept on going, kept pushing on. And you can see that the VO2 max just continued to go up and up. It's down here in the blue on this graph. And it just continued to steadily creep up. And this line right here is 60 milliliters per kilogram per minute. And as I went up to here, we can check out the printout. It looks like I was at between 18 RPE and I never really reached 19, or at least I didn't reach out and touch the piece of paper to signify to them that I was at a 19 or 20, probably because they didn't put it up. When you're at that level of exertion, even just moving your hand up to point to something can throw you off and cause you to quit or to trip or to stumble. So it's typically safest not to stop asking for RPE at that point in the test. Now, anyways, I hit, uh, this is where I hit my two highest consecutive VO2 values. And so what you want to do to, to find your true VO2 max, not just some fluke high spike in your oxygen consumption, you really want to average your values over 15 seconds and have two consecutive 15 second windows that you then average together to get your VO2 max. And so what I have highlighted right here, 59.9 and 57.8, if we average those two, we get about 59 milliliters per kilogram per minute. And that is my VO2 max. Uh, I was I was bummed not to hit 60. I really wanted to hit in the 60s. I've I've measured much higher before when I was lighter, but you know what? For me and for right now, this was very good. And this is before doing any kind of a dedicated VO2 max uh, phase in training. I haven't done a lot of that. So I'm really, really interested to see if I can improve this number, which is important because for the next several weeks, I will be training specifically to work on this aerobic power to get my VO2 max up because I just signed up 
for my first ever 5K road race. Yes, I've raced the 5K before in cross country and track, but I've never done it in, in a big, like open to the public road race. And I'm really excited to do that, especially because it's gonna show me if my training has paid off, if all of my aerobic and, and distance and long run type training uh, is paying off so that I can then build upon that good aerobic base and run a fast mile in a few months. It's important to lay down the foundation of your training and to work sequentially through fitness characteristics that you know potentiate subsequent training phases. If I can break 18 minutes, then I know I'm on the right track. Really anywhere though, in that 18 to 19 minute range and I'll be really happy with it. So stick around if you guys wanna check that out. I'll link the video here once, once it's published. But for now, thanks for following me on this journey. Thanks for learning a little bit about what the VO2 Max is. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and consider following me on Patreon. I give a lot of behind the scenes looks, uh, sneak peeks, CSCS chapter study guides, and I will soon be publishing a Q&R video directly from questions that come from my Patreon account from those uh, patrons. So if you want access to any of that, head down to the link below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Dr. Gooden here, back with another lecture.